The seven truths are faith, family, food, fitness, detox, sleep, and stress management. They're all vital to our health. You know, when we when I think about detox, and, and when people think about detox, they may get scared of, of that word. But detox, we need to detox spiritually, we need to detox emotionally, mentally, physically, and all of that. And so what happens is, because we are taking in toxins, pesticides, herbicides, uh, all of that stuff that wrecks havoc on our health, you may start eating healthy today, Bob but not get results because really we need to cleanse our digestive mm -hmm. system first. And a detox doesn't mean you can't go to work. It doesn't mean you're laying in bed. It doesn't mean you can't exercise. I'm talking about eating the foods of the earth that God created that you don't need to read a label on for at least one week without any pesticides, no GMOs, no herbicides, nothing like that. And you know, drinking half of your body weight in ounces of water per day. In the morning, having lemon and water to cleanse your palate and your digestive system. And there's a whole protocol for this, which is in my book that really anyone can do. Uh, I have several, I have a about a hundred different dietary theories up my sleeve and about a hundred different detoxes. But in my book is a very general detox that anyone can do. And so it's really helps to cut cravings because we have sugar cravings and you eat what you crave and you crave what you eat. So if you eat sugar, you crave sugar. If you cut out sugar, you crave the foods of the earth that God created that you don't need to read a label on. But there's a process to that. We cut out caffeine, not because caffeine is bad. Caffeine is okay as long as it's organic again because there are pesticides on that. But what happens is caffeine affects our blood sugar. So sometimes if you have a cup of coffee, you might want a little biscotti with it or something like that because it does elevate our blood sugar just a little bit and causes us to crave sugar. And so... The list goes on and on. So in terms of a detox, uh, just eating, as, as I said, clean eating, eating whole grain foods that you don't need to read a label on for at least one week will cut your cravings, decrease inflammation, help you lose weight, help clarity. I've had pastors say to me that have gone through my detox, I can think so much clearer. My sermons are much clearer. Mm. I have more energy. I'm not craving anything. And so it's it's amazing. You may have, for the first three days, uh, symptoms of tiredness or uh, feeling like you're you're not really feeling that good. But by day four, you turn the corner and you have so much energy, you don't even know what to do with it. And you might not need to consume caffeine. That's right. I can't imagine s saying that. <laughs> yes, I know. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't go back. It's amazing. Yeah. Robbie Raw joining us today here on The Meeting House on Faith Radio forthcoming book, The Raw Truth Recharge, Seven Truths to Health and Fitness. Jill Kelly actually has endorsed the book, yes. the wife of, of Jim Kelly. She probably knows a little bit about uh, health and fitness, being married to an NFL, former NFL quarterback. Yes, and I have helped that family uh, and quite a bit uh, with their health, and I'm grateful to do that. Well, and, and when we look at, at cancer, speaking of Jim Kelly, and of course we yes. know the, about his bout yes. with cancer, it's what do you find to be maybe some of the the dietary preventive steps that someone could take? Obviously, there's not a you know, you know a comprehensive panacea of you know diet that can prevent cancer. At least I don't think there is. I don't know, but there are certainly some positive steps. I would imagine. Yes, that's a very good question, Bob. Um, you know, a lot of patients come to me because of. I talk about cancer a lot in my book because of my sister. Um, and what I've, what I've tell people is, listen, if you decide to take chemo and radiation, that is a personal decision. It doesn't matter if you decide to take it or, or not take it. You should still be eating right because our dietary habits and our lifestyle directly affect our health. And we can reverse and prevent disease, including some cancers through our dietary habits and lifestyle. And so, you know, eating, making sure that we're eating foods that uh, don't feed cancer. We know that sugar feeds cancer. We know that there's carcinogens in, um, you know, artificial sweeteners. We know there's carcinogens in many products that are out there. And I teach this in my book and I talk about it in my healthy eating classes. And so it's important to know that you don't want to feed cancer. There is a lot of research that we can shrink cancer cells. We can turn on and turn off cancer cells through our dietary habits and through our lifestyle. You don't hear about it in the mainstream media, but it's out there. And so if you're going to take chemo and radiation, you still should be doing holistic preventative medicine through your lifestyle habits and your in your dietary habits. 